Hi everyone, I'm Christopher Polk and I'm the project manager for the Smart Meter team. What makes your meter smart? Think about it this way. In the old days, JPS sends you the power, they send a meter reader, and the meter reader comes, takes off the reading, and that is the only interaction between JPS and the meter. Today, a smart meter has two-way communication. So we can now remotely access information from these meters. And that opens up a whole host of advantages. Hi, Jamaica. My name is Hugh Hamilton. I am the Director of Grid Modernization and Telecommunications at JPS. JPS can send commands to the meter. The meter will receive these commands, interpret them, and perform an action or send information back to JPS. Hi, I'm Arrington Roberts, field engineer at JPS, where I specialize in smart communication technologies. Okay, so the smart meter system is an integrated network that provides two-way communication between the customers and the utility. The smart metering system comprises of three main components. The meters, the access point, and the software application. The smart meter enables us to collect information at every point in the grid. The red light and green light indicates the status of the meter at the current time. If the green light is flashing fast, it means that it is connecting to the JPS network. If it is slow, it means that it has connected, however, it is waiting to be authenticated. If there is no light, it means that you are good to go. You are connected and authenticated. The meter is a smart meter, which means that it has two-way communication between JPS and the meter itself. So let's say, for example, JPS asks the meter, hey, what is the power quality in that area? In order for the meter to respond to that command, the meter goes busy and then responds. So the customer might see it busy and that will indicate that JPS is sending commands to the meter and the meter is responding. Hey everyone, I'm Nikolai Stevens. I am the project team lead for transform metering on a smart meter project. So all it is a universal identifier that is used for all or most LED displays to signify that yes, the screen is working. It is our international standard that allows the viewer to recognize whether or not there are any digits that are not working. Hi, my name is Noel Madden. I'm the supervisor for the Network Operations Center at the Grid Modernization and Technology Department of JPS. So, in case you are wondering what if your meter is creeping or advancing, generally what people are thinking about is that although they're not using anything, nothing is plugged in, nothing is connected, somehow they are still consuming power. So that is where the term comes up as is the meter advancing although you are not connected. So what we would advise you to do if you are suspecting that that may be the issue, we want you to plug out everything in the premises, disconnect everything, turn off all your breakers, and then go to your meter, look at the display, and make a note of the reading that's there in the sequence, and then wait for about another 10, 15 minutes, and take a note if the reading has changed. If it has not changed, that means there's no issue with creeping. If it has changed, then we recommend that you get an electrician to come and check your premises to make sure everything is okay, there's no short circuits or grounding issues. Outside of that, we will want you to contact us and then we will take it from there. If you live in the parishes of Kingston and St. Andrew, St. James, Clarendon or St. Catherine, you already have a smart meter. If you don't, however, please contact us and we will come and install the smart meters for you. The other parishes will see smart meter installations within two years. If you have a smart meter and you're not seeing hourly, daily or weekly data, there are two methods that you can report it to JPS. One, you go to the mobile app, the home screen, you select customer support, scroll down to chat, and then you can record the issue there. The second method is by calling the JPS Customer Service Center by dialing 888-225-5577 or 888-935-5577. Hi guys, my name is Lorian Davis and I am the Quality Assurance Project Coordinator for the Smart Grid team. 
several things. So you have the remote reconnections, right? There, no one will have to come to reconnect your premises anymore. They're being on the road. I hear some complaints from customers and the first thing that they always say is, how can I report an outage? Now with the smart meter, it already reports it for you. From you have a cluster of meters in one area and there's an outage, we have an outage detection system that will send that notification to JPS and in return it makes your life easier because there's, yes you made the report the same way but before that report comes in, JPS will pick that up.